Hello and welcome to my craft room with Troda. Today I'm doing the Think Outside the Box Challenge and I'm a little late in getting it done. Uh, it was by Mitzi at 307 Journals and she picked a uh, plastic bag. It could be a Walmart or grocery bag. It could be a garbage bag as long as it was a plastic bag. And we had to use it like fabric. I'm not exactly sure that mine has <laughs> met that stipulation, but I'm going with what I got because this is all I could think of. But first, let me get the um, Care to Share journal. And I'm going to show you another page. And this is my uh, Shabby Chic I did a couple years back. I know I've done that. I think this was the last thing I showed you. Yes. <clears throat> I gave you a look of this, but I never did show you the rest of it. This is a little flappy thing. Um, it's actually a bag. That's right. It, it is a bag. <laughs> it's been a long time. <laughs> but yes, it is a bag. And it goes through the journal into the signature. And I believe I must have opened up. Nope. I think it's a pharmacy bag. I think it's one of those brown pharmacy bags. I really do. <laughs> Anyhow, I did a little rickrack on the edge here. I did a bunch of strips here. And I had a bunch of leftover strips from, you know, ripping off here. So I inked the edges and then I glued in this fashion backwards. So you saw all those rips. And then I had this image from the uh, paper kit. Uh, i lined the inside of that just a little bit and then on the back side was more of the let me put him back in here but on the back side was more uh oh yeah forgot to show you this this has a little vellum uh circle on it just so you can open it up and write inside of it i like to do my envelopes like that so you get more out of them instead of just putting things in them you're able to write in them as well. You've got two purposes you could do. Now, I always, I also found that <clears throat> it's kind of neat if you, if you tuck the edge of that envelope on the edge of that bag. This one worked out just right. I think it is a pharmacy bag. So anyhow, um, then on the back side, I had a bunch of little pieces of the ephemera. This is another one, and I made it into a pocket. I just framed it onto a little piece of paper and made a pocket out of it so I could tuck my little carriage in there and <clears throat> I'll show you this page since I'm, you can see it <laughs> but I'll tell you there was a lot of people that really liked this page <clears throat> the whole idea I love teacups I love love teacups and teapots and I wanted to use this in a way that looked like it was on a tablecloth but I also had a hidden journaling so I figured out if I cut that teapot in half right there this is a piece of digital lace that I had, and then I put a Velcro dot, and I made like a diamond design, and you can write inside here, and nobody can see it, and yet it looks like a teapot, or a teacup, I mean. So, <laughs> there's you a little idea. If you've got something, and you're wanting to do hidden journaling, especially if it's something that's on a table, or on a shelf, or something, there's ways you can get around it. I, I had to think and think on this girls and boys. <laughs> Boy, did I had to think on it. But I finally got it to where I could get it to work. So, never give up. That is my lesson for the day. <laughs> and, uh, and so, getting back to our project here. The, the paper bags. Plastic bags. <laughs> thank you, thank you for coming to visit before I get into this, because I will forget again. I'm, I forget everything. Um, so what I'm going to do to prep my bag is to cut the, bo the bottom off. I don't need that bottom piece, and it is kaput. All right. Then what I usually will do is I'll cut it in two sections. I'll cut it like this. And then I get up to almost the handles and I'll cut again. And sometimes I use these handle parts. Sometimes I don't. It depends on if I need them. So what I've got now are these two strips like that. And I got my hand sanitizer out here because I'll tell you, when you get this fabric tack all over your hands, and this is what we're using today to glue down, it comes in handy. <laughs> so... 
Uh, and I suggest to try to find one of these little silicone applicator things because, boy, it was helping out. And I never cleaned it off from the other day. I've got up to a certain point here. Let me show you. All right. This is my Dragon's Eye book. I hope, and I put it in this orientation because I have a few drawings that I made. And I think one of my dragons I drew is is long ways so i thought he would be better seen in that direction and i'm going to put i'm gonna see if i can find a digital i don't know what's out there <clears throat> but i'm going to find something to fill this book with and so what i'm doing here i've got all of this done up here and i j white gessoed it i used white gesso because i didn't know if the paint was going to stick i think laura um craft and see with Laura B. She did hers the other day uh, and she actually jelly printed hers and I, it seemed to take the paint, but I wasn't sure. I just wasn't sure. So I was going to go about it this way. So I'm taking this and I'm, I'm gauging and I had to, I'm, I'm twisting it as I go along. That's, that's the whole purpose or way to do it here. And I'm twisting it and gluing it down. And I think that's the perfect length right there. And then I got small ones I put in here around the eye. And then I went above the eye as well. Then I built upon it. I actually have three layers here. There's two or three under that. And then I decided to put two more on here. I'm hoping this looks like, you know, <laughs> scales or scaly skin something you know along those lines with the dragon <clears throat> now what i had to do was get in here oh, I'm, like, I'm gonna get this stuff all over my hands again <laughs> but i had to get in here and i had to try to glue it a little bit and get it into like a twist and just to, to hold it shut on that end and then you can come back and trim these edges you have to trim all your edges. I mean, they're not going to be neat and tidy, but they're going to be close, you know. I don't know what else I'm going to use to decorate the rest of the outside of this book. I'm just, <laughs> just concentrating on this crazy dragon front at the moment. I asked Natasha if she thought that somebody would buy a dragon eye book. <laughs> oh, yeah, she said. Because... They're supposed to be doing Dungeons and Dragons at some point in time. Uh, or they have game nights, I should say, down at the shop. Yeah, they, they have a lot of different plans, really good plans for the store. <clears throat> at some point in time, I think I'm supposed to be <laughs> teaching some uh, scrapbooking classes. I'm still wrapping my mind around that, you know. You know how it is with me. It takes me a while. Now, it depends. I was thinking the farther out you go, the less tight you want to wind your uh, bag. So it doesn't have as uh, small a coil because he's, he's growing, you know. The farther out you go, the bigger his body is going to be. Now, you sometimes have to hold this. This is, this is fabric tack, so it's going to go pretty fast and I also put that little bit of glue on this next side here uh, that it's meeting and that also helps it I might have to hold this down for just a second to make sure that it has adhered and it's staying sometimes I'll put something on there like a little weight to keep it on there staying there <laughs> however you want to phrase that um I don't know how many bags I have gone through. <laughs> I need to, I need to probably take tally of that. Um, but it, it was at least four, four, five, maybe six. I think I had three or four on hand back here, and I had some gray ones, and I didn't think the gray ones would be the right way to go. And I need to get in here now and probably start trying to get this this end to glue shut and twist for me so I need to get into there and just throw me some glue here there and everywhere Ugh. if you left it I doubled it you know so if you left it where it wasn't doubled you might 
you might get a better result. Uh, it, it's going to be a whole lot thinner. That's kind of why I went here with this double because I got a nice thick uh, piece as opposed to those up here. I'm hoping it'll make it go faster as well. Oh, I, I was here last night trying to figure out how to do this. I had I had this idea a while back. <laughs> I used to draw dragons. I, I love to read Anne McCaffrey, and um, she w did the Dragon Riders of Pern when I was in elementary school. You know. I, I wanted it. Uh, I needed something. I loved science fiction, and I need something to take my mind off of things. And so I, um, I just started reading science fiction, and it takes you to another world. And I used to read about horses. I used to read about, you know, dragons. I just I had a lot of different things that I was interested in, and so it was. You know, something to take your mind off of life, too. <laughs> Sometimes there was things, you know, I had, you know, my parents are arguing, fussing and fighting a lot. And, you know, I, I used to say with my friend down the road, her her mom and dad were <laughs> like, Ozzie and Harriet, you know, the perfect couple. Uh, they had their troubles early in life, though, but, you know, they would worked everything out and... Anyhow, so they kind of took me in, and I stayed there a lot at the time. I could just walk right down there. So, but other than that, when I couldn't get away, I would do my reading. And it, it's, it keeps your imagination going, too. I mean, I've always been imaginative <laughs> or, or creating. and th I always wanted to tear things apart, like watches and <laughs> to, to see how they tick and i as you get older you know you find things out about yourself <laughs> so i found out i love puzzles um i guess that came to hand when i started doing genealogy and i learned that um it was one big puzzle and you had to piece clues together uh and sometimes you wouldn't find the solution to a clue until way, way in the future when you found another puzzle piece. And, it, and, and I love a jigsaw puzzle. I don't only like just, you know, uh, figuring out puzzles. I like jigsaws. I have some on my Kindle that I'll play every now and then. And um, it's really interesting. Um, yeah, but it's... It's one of those things, it's, it's like drawing the map in the cemetery, you know, but, you know, nobody's ever, ever recorded where any of these people were buried, and most of the time, they only had a rock kind of a situation, so it's, it's where you're, and I don't know, I call myself a savant sometimes <laughs> when it comes, when it comes to the cemeteries, because you have to sit there and you got somebody's name on a stone here and yet the next one is a rock and maybe you have another name a little further on and you find out as you research that they're family and then you'll find a death certificate an obituary uh, you'll find something that um, gives you a clue of who that might be. It might actually have to say that they are buried in this cemetery. It might say, you know, something else. Uh, you might just have an inkling that you think you know who's there. But it, it's all puzzles. I mean, it's all it's so interesting to me. Gosh, I'm, <laughs> I'm making a mess of this, this strip here, but it, it sticks eventually. It's, it takes at least a couple minutes for it to really adhere and set in. I probably need to set this out straight. I don't want to bend it too much. But I really need to get in here with some more glue. As you can see, sometimes even when you twist it, they're still a little loose. And like in here and in here. And I'm really, I really added <laughs> fabric tack to all this stuff. 
and I go in here and I poke a lot in there and then I'll take this silicone and I'll start tucking and I'll start pushing and that and I'll try to adhere those two together it, when you come back over here with the um, the gesso it also fills in some holes so let me finish this a little bit you've seen what I'm doing here so let me finish this a little bit and I'll get back with you okay so I've gotten all of the pieces on there and you can see that one piece sticks over just a little bit you can come in here and trim it and if you've got enough glue on there it should <laughs> it should have kept it in one piece and I think once you get on here with the um, with the gesso it kind of will also seal things up because you can see how it it really sealed up my edges here really nicely uh, and, and it kind of holds everything together as well. I've got um, je uh, not gesso, uh, washi over my eyeball. You'll get to see the reveal of that as soon as we get done. But if you wondered what I have this on, I made up, it's like um, a layer of cat food uh, box, another little thinner layer, and uh, some, what was that other thing I used? I think a pizza box. So the pizza box gave me the, the width that I needed. And then I um, I put washi on the front and the back to strengthen that, uh, that hinge. Sometimes I'll put a piece of cloth over there uh, with some matte media to hold everything down. Um, okay, so what we're wanting to do now is our gesso. So I'm going to get me a magazine out here because it gets a little messy. All of this is a little messy. That wants to come off, but I don't know. If, yeah, I still need it because I got to paint it. So let me grab a brush and let me grab my little scrap. As you can see, that was my pizza box <laughs> that I was using yesterday. And I just put my gesso right on it. Like that. I might need more because I, I kept finding I needed more and more gesso. So. What we're going to do is just dabby dabby the, it on there like that. And I was hoping this would look like dragon scales. I guess it does. <laughs> you tell me. I uh, I wanted more of a scale scale look, but I, I don't know if I got it. And sometimes I would go in here and try to put a, a big daub of this in a in a whole area just so that got covered up. And you just kind of paint, paint, paint. You're not really trying to cover up the blue. Uh, I did stick with white bags just because I didn't want to have any issues with the gray. Oh, I got me a little white gesso there. All that's going to get covered up. All the rest of this will get covered. So if you get it messy, it's okay. That's why I'm doing this part first. Um, I just didn't want it to hinder anything in any way. I don't think that will. But you get to paint and create and have a little fun. And it's not very heavy. I mean, I was thinking it was going to be a ton to, to pick up, but it's not. And I got Jesse on my table again. Uh, well, it's easy enough to clean up because this, this stuff, I just cleaned my hands with it. It's alcohol sanitizer hand sanitizer <laughs> it seems to take care of a lot of things although that may need need a little more scrubbing anyway so i'm gonna let this dry for a minute clean my brush and we'll be back because we got to do the paint layer okay the ink uh the paints that i'm going to use today are these deco art dazzling metallics <laughs> i got them a while back but they're really really pretty and I thought, I don't know if the gold, for se, is going to be used maybe as a highlight. Uh, I really like the copper. And this festive green is going to be the base. Um, with it being so ridgy, you know, uh, I don't know if I could do a base of this green. And then go over it, like with my finger or something, with the copper uh, metallic and see if that might do the trick for me oh that's a nice dragon green i can tell you that 
I like that color on here. All right. I, uh, I'm just going to paint whatever comes in my way here. If I have to paint this edge, I, <laughs> I have to. That's all there is to it. I need to get up underneath of all this white and get all that taken care of. Um, there's another girl that does Dragon Eye books on one of the the pages that I uh, follow. Um, it's on Grand Central Crafting. And I've seen her do them in the past. I haven't seen her do one lately. I didn't see how she did them, though. I mean, I, I don't know what she used for the eye part. Now, what I did, I used a magnet. I had this magnet. It's one of the creatures that I, I dearly love. And somebody gave it to me. <laughs> and I looked at it and I said, that's going to make the perfect dragon eye. Am I off the screen? I'm sorry. I'm trying to get this edge done pretty well and then I can just lay it down and go to town with it but yeah it's it worked out perfect for what I wanted and I don't know if I told you I hit oh I don't want to put a dent in his eyeball either and I just did <laughs> but I um uh, I wanted to um make him look like he had a cat eye I think most of them look like they got a cat eye Let's see if this is going to work for me. If I might have to let one side dry and come back to the other, I don't know. I maybe should have done that. It's a really pretty green. I oh, love it. I love it, love it. Oops, it's getting everywhere. That's all right, because nothing is finished on here this this got it's got to be done before anything else gets done on this journal i'm probably going to do a hidden signature uh i don't know what i'll do with this signature um i could still uh you know tie in the signature but i feel better putting an extra piece of chipboard on here this is not that heavy but it, it's got some weight to it and <laughs> did his dented eye come back out again? I think it did. But yeah, you have to rub back and forth, back and forth, because you got all those little delicious oh, textures here. I'm trying to get glue and paint and everything else. I'm gonna have to scour this poor old quilting mat. It's been through. <laughs> it's been through the world now. I used to quilt on this thing in my room down at the house with mom and dad. And I just do all kinds of ironing. And <laughs> it was in like a shoebox size room at that. <laughs> so I had all kinds of things going on. Back then I was quilting and piecing. And I think I did, I still, I did genealogy. Because that was like my major hobby of my life. <laughs> if you want. Yeah, it, it's been the major hobby. And I still do it. I just I got into this junk journaling. And I, I don't know. Sometimes you just need a break. It's it's one of those things that, you know, it it is a lot of brain uh, working. You got to. And then it's a lot of footwork, too, because, well, for me and, and Zach, some of these people don't get out and go to these cemeteries and things like we do. And. We get out there and we, we search for them. We'll go to the courthouses and search for them. That's what you basically got to do. When I first did genealogy, that's what I learned. You went and you found the source at the courthouse. And you uh, you went from there. You the, you had to go to the source to get the, the proof. You could get it with a seal on it. I can't remember if that's called something registered or something. Um, but yeah, if you needed proof, that's when you wanted to do the DAR or SAR or anything like that. I just wanted to know. <laughs> I didn't need the proof. I just wanted to know. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and finish painting the green part. Okay, that wasn't that long for you, but it was really, really long for me. <laughs> I had 
I was holding it and I would see a little hole here with white and then I'd see another little hole with white and I had to keep going over and keep going over. So I guess get it at a window and hold it every which way and see if you've gotten all the pieces uh, of white off of there. Now it may be better if you was to use a uh, gray bag. That, that may have done the trick for me and I wouldn't have to keep going over and refixing it but this is what I come up with I still have to peel my uh, pieces off of my eye but I think the reason I'm leaving them on is because I want to go around the eye with some of this copper because I want to highlight the eye I really want it to stand out more than anything else and uh, I don't want to mess up my little glass magnet that I've got under there. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever find another magnet that works as perfectly as this one for the eye. Um, I did think about doing a, um, a uh, an egg, you know, an Easter egg, but the thing was it just, it didn't seem to be working. Um, it would, it was, it would split in the wrong direction. Uh, and I thought, well, you know, something maybe glass would work better. So this is just, I guess this is considered a dry brush technique here. But it's a dry finger technique. Um, I'm just kind of rubbing it over some of the, the major uh, wrinkles that are standing up there. And I may get in here a little heavier uh, around the eye because I'd like that to look like he's got a lid in a way, kind of like right in here. Uh, now, paper crafting with Miss Tommy. Tommy is to go next. Now, she may beat me, because <laughs> I'm behind. I had a few challenges I, I'm squeezing in on this weekend here. I did one yesterday. Usually, I only do one every other day, a video. But I had to squeeze Caroline's craft tree one in yesterday. Um, and today, um, I'm getting this one in and <laughs> I, I just don't know. I was, I'm behind, I guess cause it, I, I reached my thousand subscriber limit <laughs> this, this week or my milestone, I guess I'd say not a limit. Um, so yeah, I reached that this week. So I had to do, uh, the flip through really quickly because I didn't know I was going to hit it that fast. <laughs> And then I, um, I had to get with the winner. I had to do a drawing. Had to get with the winner. And all that kind of good fun stuff. But I really appreciate everybody for following me and subscribing and liking and commenting and sharing. I really appreciate all the help. I don't know where I'm going with this. I don't, I don't plan to get monetized. I think that's more trouble than it's worth. <laughs> and literally I've looked it up um, but I like sharing I like sharing ideas I like giving giving you other options of things to do with items you have in your household um, yeah it's, I like doing uh, creative things and showing how it could be done or a, a better way to do it a more shortcut um, how to look at something differently. I think that's one of my main things. I like to look at things differently. Every time I look at a piece of trash anymore, I'm looking at it thinking, what can I do with that? Hmm. What could that be used for? So, yeah. It's it's one of those kind of situations. I like... I just like making. And this is turning out kind of neat. I think I definitely will use some of the gold just kind of for highlights because uh, I want to maybe I'll do that like when you do makeup hey do like when you do makeup you always highlight the inside of your eye your eye or the tear duct is that's one of the main places they put a little shine of uh, white or lighter colored silver something like that so we might see if that might be the way to go here. And I don't want to get too heavy. And I don't really want to get in the cracks. I want to do this just like a 
like a rub over the whatever sticks up and wants to grab it kind of deal. All right, I'm going to lay that down. I don't need to be holding it like that. Yeah, it's kind of turning out. I think I may just go over the whole thing with this. And the highlight part around the eye and all that will be with the um, the gold, the pretty gold. So let's try it that way. And this isn't hard. This is just rubbing, rubbing over it. Now, doing twists... <laughs> Twist me. Oh, I better not sing. <laughs> I'll get I'll get slapped with a fine or something. And and I don't want to hurt your ears as well. Um, but yeah, when you do that twist, it gives you all this extra texture. And if you can get it tight enough together, it's going to make it look like his body scales and things or dragony stuff. <laughs> I love dragons. I used to to love all the mythical stuff. I loved unicorns. I like fairies. Got all the dragons and Pegasus. Anything like anything would do the horse at one point. It was ugh. you could ha have a horse, and I would love it. I'm all right with centaurs, <laughs> but they're not a horse. They're like half man. <laughs> I guess that ruined it for me. <laughs> uh, kind of took all the fun out of it. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, so far so good on this, everybody. I don't know when I'm going to try one of these again. Uh, it wasn't that bad. It just, you know, every time you do something the first time, it's kind of... Whew, fries your brain a little bit uh, maybe that was what the deal was i've had my brain fried a little too much lately <laughs> oh especially with that little um it was a little uh, entomologist notebook i think is what i'm calling it i don't know uh but that one will be out next week this coming week um I thought it was going to be one video. Nope, it turned into... It will turn into three, because I still have to do a flip through. I had kept putting it off, and I kept wondering why. Now I know. <laughs> it was a lot of work. A lot of fussy cutting, a lot of uh, die cutting. Uh, but anyhow, it's done. I love it. It turned out really nice. I've never done anything like that before, so... I was real happy with the what I got so stay tuned to that next week I think I posted a little bit of that on my Instagram and uh, it probably fed over to my Rotus Junk page as well I uh, have that linked together I kind of like where I smear it and I've got like a two-toned I'm kind of doing that more down this way I think I, that works better for like his body I had to put a little ball here in the corner. That's what, how I ended up at the very end. It, it ended up being a little ball. Yeah, I really like that that smear technique there. I still see the green, but it's down in the crevices, more like. Because aren't dragons kind of, you know, glisteny, metal, metallic-y looking? It's been a while since I looked at one. All right, so my piece de resistance is going to be highlighting his eye and going over my, um, taking my washi tape off. Well, what do you think? I don't know if he's going to dry differently. I guess you'll see in the thumbnail how I kind of ended up with him. Hmm. Okay. All right. Ugh, I got a little more paint on there that I wanted. Now I'm going to see what I can do with this uh, 
Venetian gold. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, it doesn't look like it's going to be as light as I thought it was going to be. Maybe it is. Let's see. Do some highlights. I don't think it's going to stand out as much as I wanted. I just kind of dippy dabby it. You, you want to have layers. So if you got a few little layers here, that's, that's good. Yeah, it adds a little bit. Like dippy dabby some right there. Dippy dabby a lot of it right around these eye. Okay. Should we name our dragon? <laughs> <What's>, <laughs> what should his name be? <laughs> Horus. <laughs> I have a, I guess he would have been a great uncle or a great great uncle. His name was Horus. Mm. Horton? <laughs> Smog. Let's just call him Smog. All right, let me see if I can get rid of some more of this gold here. And not waste as much of it. <laughs> I'm trying to get my highlights in there. <laughs> You're wondering what I'm doing here. Yeah, around his uh, part there. Okay, I think my finger is done. <laughs> we'll stick that in there. And now, the great reveal. Where's my extra set of fingers? There we go. Well, let's start right here. Oh, I might have to do some repairing. I can see that right now. I think some of my paint has tried to stick to my washi. Ooh, maybe a bit of... Where's the rest of that paint? I may need that paint. I get in here with a little fine detailer and see if I can take care of that. Ooh, yeah, I'm trying not to pull too much out of there. Okay. Come on. There. Now I'm going to get in here and I'm going to fix that little bit that got messed up. <laughs> I'm trying to get my paint back again. Um, but can you see that? <laughs> it's my peacock. <laughs> the dragon's eye is a peacock. All right, let me fix that and I'll be right back. Ah, oh, I think I've got the trick now. I got in here with this little fine detailer, number four. And I was going around it and getting all that white that was still behind from taking the washi tape off. And I put that dark copper on his lower lid and boy, it popped. Now, don't worry. This is a piece of glass. If you use a piece of glass, I can get in there with my X-Acto knife, with I, which I just did on some of the old paint. And you can scrape it right off. So you don't have to worry about it marring your uh, piece at all. Like, I can see a little bit I got over there, but that's all right. I'm going to scrape it off once it dries, but check it out. There's our dragon's eye. I might go through a few more of these creases and add the rest of this copper, just so I can use it up, like here. Like, in major areas where a, a big crease would be. Yeah, something like that. And then I'll probably want to... Um, Go in the sh shaded areas, shadowy areas, with some of the copper, and just bring those out a bit, a bit more. Yep, like that. I haven't painted in so long. It's kind of fun. Yeah, I'll get over here. I'm probably in the... I don't know which way I can turn this where you can see it without that glare or my shadow on it. There but something like that. 
like here and there. It kind of, it, it starts to make him come alive. He's got more tones to him. He's not flat with just a green with a little bit of gold or something like that. Oh, yeah. That's really bringing him, bringing him alive. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> oh, goodness. But I found that peacock, and I thought, oh, my gosh, that is perfect. It's kind of like a cat eye. So that is the best thing that I could have thought of or found to put as his eye. And I knew the glass part would help me as well because uh, of it being wipeable. I wouldn't have too much trouble. Okay. Maybe a little bit back in here because this should be a shaded area as well. <laughs> I might hit some wet green paint. I don't know. Because I had a little bit of wet in these big pockets I was trying to cover up. Look, especially like right in there. See if I can do something with this little area. Okay, I think I'm done with him. <laughs> How do you like him? <laughs> this is my Think Outside the Box Challenge. Hosted by Mitzi. <laughs> Thank you, Mitzi. I've been wanting to do a dragon's eye for a while, and I think he turned out pretty nicely. And he glows in a way. Oh, look at that. So, you'll see a little future video probably of this as I do it or get it done to where you can see what kind of dragon stuff I put inside of it. But I really appreciate you coming to visit all my subscribers and watchers and viewers. Everybody have a great, great day, and goodbye.